Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on Live at Three Music. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. It's fantastic you are here. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video from the iconic hard rock band Boston and through their song, More Than a Feeling, which just capitalized cap catapulted them into international stardom. Um, we looked at regret and the hold that regret has over us. And maybe sometimes we need to more turn it into a learning experience for future. So it's just you found that one an encouragement. Well, between 1960 and 1970, four guys in Liverpool, the Beatles changed everything. And Around the time they split around the 1970, there were so many bands forming and so many songs being written that just a new wave of rock was being ushered into the world. Think about bands like Led Zeppelin, Electric Light Orchestra formed in 1970, the Doobie Brothers, and then the whole plethora of bands that came in the 1970s and 80s. Very much a new era and everybody was capitalising on this, that is for sure. If we could play a guitar, we could write some songs, we can sing a K, let's not give it, why not give it a go? And certainly in Melbourne, Wayne Duncan, Ross Hannaford, Gary Young and Ross Wilson got together and they formed the band Daddy Cool. Now, Daddy Cool is well and truly entrenched in the Australian psyche through their iconic song, Eagle Rock. Now in Australia, we have this thing called the Great Australian Songbook. These are songs that have actually shaped our nation and Eagle Rock is well and truly in there. The minute you hear the guitar start up, the drums, the swagger of the song, just the really simple lyrics and Ross Wilson's incredible vocals and some harmonies in there as well. You've got an all round song that's just captured Australia's attention. Now these guys weren't busy for long, you know, 1971, the album Daddy Who, Daddy Cool. Also in 1971, Sex, Dope, Rock and Roll, Teenage Heaven was also released. <laughs> Classic name <laughs> for an album, that one. 1973, there was a live album. And in 2006, quite a long time after the early 70s, a, a reformation with the album The New Cool. <laughs> In amongst those albums, there's been 18 singles. And when when you put together a band as iconic as this, as this one, there's gonna be a few compilations in there as well. Now, they were uh, inducted into the ARIA Hall of Fame in 2006. ARIA stands for Australian Record Industry Association and iconic acts have gone in there. Other bands including called Chisel, are in the ARIA Hall of Fame. So very incredible to receive that honour, that is for sure. They received some King of Pop Awards, just some sort of uh, fan awards. But as I said, very much Daddy Cool um, is well and truly enshrined in the Australian culture through the song Eagle Rock. Now, when I think about the song Eagle Rock, and there's a man, I was in the band and we actually covered this song and we'd actually get someone out of the audience to actually sing the lead on it. And it just really, really went off. It's such a, such a fun song to play, this one. And yeah, just really got everyone tapping their feet and jigging on the spot. When I think of Eagle Rock, I think of a simpler time. I remember when television came into our house for the first time in the late 1960s. I can remember riding our bikes around the street. You know, we'd, we'd, we'd go on our bike and we'd say to mum, see you tonight, mum. And we'd just ride around the streets all day with our friends and we might play some cricket games in the park. In fact, all the kids would hang around. Certainly when daylight saving was on, all the kids would hang out and play with each other. And then all the, all the parents ring, it would ring each other up and say, do you reckon now's about the good time? And they'd all get them in at the same time. A simpler time. I remember the cricket games in the park. I remember when uh, we, because we, we played pretty well, there was this other bunch of guys. And uh, we just said, hey, let's, let's get together and have a bit of a game. And it was still a really big, massive deal. We both had 11 on our team. We didn't know who each other was. But we decided to have a cricket game. 
these were the days that we had. We could ride our bikes to school. We could ride our bikes back from school. Um, we, we might go to our friend's place after school. I'd ride my bike to my friend's place and then ride my bike home after. I remember when my dad used to fill up with petrol and it was $2 to fill up his tank. I remember pies and parsley being 20 cents each. Certainly back then there were no mobile phones. Social media wasn't a thing. And it was just a simpler time. But those of us who have only, and no internet, what was that even? <laughs> and certainly in the 1970s, Microsoft Windows had not even come out. They came out around 1982. And so this concept of computers um, was a bit, of a bit of a strange thing as well. When you wanted to contact someone, you either ring up and spoke to them or you would go around and see them. You'd ring up and say, hey, what are you doing now? Want to catch up? And then we'd just go around and we'd just do whatever. You know, the house is just the house was the way it was and we just kind of went with it. Life was simpler when we were doing the Eagle Rock, which the Eagle Rock, by the way, is a dance. So you're doing the Eagle Rock. You're just bopping around and being together. Now, in this day and age, we're particularly with kids who have not known life without the internet and all the rest of it, you might be thinking, wow, that sounds a bit backward. <laughs> wow, like, you know, no internet, no, no mobile phones. Well, that's just like, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Because there, were, because there weren't these distractions, uh, people just connected with people. There was no, like, um, he said, she said stuff, um, on social media because you said it to the person you know you just shared life with them you were their friends friendship was just really really important friendship was based on just hanging out with each other and all the rest of it there didn't seem to be as many allergies back then for some reason and certainly people just seemed to be happier i remember going on holidays with my parents we had this really really small caravan like, you know, it was one that my grandparents owned and we would borrow the caravan and we would just go to some short spots close to Adelaide or we went to Canberra once. That was pretty exciting. We saw snow for the first time. That was pretty cool. It wasn't the biggest caravan, but you know what? It didn't matter because we're just together as a family. We did, we did have an annex we could put on the side and that made the space a bit bigger. But you know what? It's just a simpler time. Life was time for exploration and seeing what's around the world. And I think I really, really did appreciate growing up in the 1970s. And certainly when I got to know rock music a bit more in the 80s, I certainly did appreciate the time I was in such originality. People really wanted to just to be themselves. We had the characters and all the rest of it. And it was just a really, really simpler time. It would seem that those times are well and truly gone. I mean, we can't take things back. We can't take the internet back now. We can't take mobile phones back. We can't take social media back. All of those things are really and truly entrenched into our lifestyle these days. And I do wonder whether we lost the ability to connect with each other. Just to be ourselves, you know, hair however, makeup however, just, 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 we just do what we do. I don't think these those simple days will potentially come back anymore. But they were great days, guys. They really, really were. And I'm glad I was a kid in the 1970s. That is for sure. And, you know, we did the Eagle Rock in whatever way we did it. Whatever, did we actually don't know what the, what the Eagle Rock actually is. We just know that you do it. So whether that's a way of life, or whether that's a dance or whatever it is you do or deal with your loved one, that sort of stuff. You're just doing the Eagle Rock. And certainly back in 1971, the whole of Australia was doing the Eagle Rock. So I don't know, how can we find the simpler times in our lifestyle today? How can we get back to connections? How can we get back to just being together, giving each other grace just to be ourselves? How do we do that sort of stuff? Well... I don't know, but I suppose what we can do is we look around our small part of the world, see where the groups are happening and all the little connections are happening and just be part of it 
and just to be a positive difference in this world. It's certainly what uh, Daddy Corker at Eagle Rock did in 1971. They certainly did make the world, and Australia in particular, a nicer spot. So, um, connection is where it's all at. Face-to-face -face connection with other people, just hanging out with them. That is certainly what life is all about. It's a little bit tricky at the moment to do that, I know. But, you know, when the opportunity presents itself, perhaps this can reawaken a little bit in us. Well, I trust that will all be an encouragement for you today. Now, if you are watching this video and you're in lockdown at the moment because the world seems to be in a bit of turmoil with this at the moment, continuing turmoil, I should say, just hang in there. And if these videos can just encourage you a little bit while you're in those spots, well, they've done their job. Even if it's just one person, they've done their job. Well, so I trust that's an encouragement for you today. On to the clips. Yes, we have to have Eagle Rock, as again came off the 1971 album Daddy Who, Daddy Cool. I've got two versions of this. I've got the official clip and I've got an absolutely live version. We see Ross Wilson singing here. And yes, there is a little bit of a bit of a blemish blooper at the start, but as I said, it's absolutely live. 1994, these guys probably hadn't played this song for a while, so you know, just give them a bit of grace. They get into the groove eventually, but it's good to know that, you know, songs like this one, it doesn't really matter. If it gets right eventually, it'll just happen. Now, this particular um, album sold 60,000 copies in the first month, and it was the first Australian album to sell more than 100,000 copies. And so, very significant in the world of Australian music. Now, when you think about Daddy Cool, you've also got to think about the song Come Back Again. That came off the same album, and that's the official clip. Uh, I think it's Come Back Again. I'm just crazy about you, babe. <laughs> that, sort of, that sort of thing. And it's, again, it's just got the typical Eagle Rock swagger about it. And you just got to chap your feet. And the guitar work's pretty cool. And Ross Wilson's a pretty good guitarist. And certainly he has created some of the most iconic riffs in Australian music history. That is for sure. Well, um, that's it for today. Um, and by the way, I've also included my last video from Boston. So if you want to recap on that one, feel free. Well, that's it for today. If you have come back for another video, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome to Life Reflections Through Music. If everybody's hung around to the end, that's fantastic. The encouragement always is that if you do click on a video, just watch it to the end because you never know what we're going to talk about. And it might be just the thing you need to hear. That's certainly the hope anyway. Well, that's it for today. Next time, we're going to go on to a band that has piqued my curiosity ever since I first heard them from their album Phantasmagoria back in the 1980s. And this is the band The Damned. Great name for a band, by the way. <laughs> the Damned. And so until then, I'll catch you around. <laughs>